So now let's address this idea of making our image larger, because right now it's actually shrinking this image down. The image is supposed to be the entire width of the content area. It's 940 pixels wide. So let's create some custom CSS for this. I'm gonna jump back into our code. I'm gonna open up the CSS folder and open up custom.css, and we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom here and skip a couple lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply another class to our modal. Remember, we've already given it three classes, modal, hide, and fade. We're gonna give it another class so that we can define some more items here. So let's give it a class of modal-img for image. And then inside this rule or this definition, we're gonna give our modal a width of 940 pixels. Now this is gonna depend on the width of the actual image that you're using. If you have a different width for each image, then you might need to define a different class or ID for each individual modal. But since all of our images are gonna be the same width, we can give this class a width of 940 pixels and that will make it large enough. So let's see if that fixes our problem for us. First of all, we need to save our custom.css file Secondly, we need to actually apply this class to our modal. So let's jump back into HTML, and here is our modal here, and we're going to simply add a fourth class to this called modal-img. So now let's save that and jump back into Chrome and refresh our page. Now let's click on the image, and it pops up, and we're sort of halfway there, but we still see some problems. First of all, it's not centered anymore. It's pushed off to the right a little bit, and that's because the modals in Bootstrap are defined at a specific width, and at that specific width, this arrangement works just fine. So we need to actually move this to the left a little bit more. Another problem we're seeing is that the bottom of our image is cut off, and we can scroll up and down to see it, but we don't wanna to have to scroll to see all of our image. So we need to fix that as well. And the reason that is happening is because these modals have a maximum height set to it. So we need to basically just get rid of that max height. So let's close that. Let's jump back into our code, go to our custom.css file. And the next thing I'm gonna do is change the margin left property. And that's the way that this is aligned. In fact, we can take a look at that to prove it. If we jump into bootstrap.css, I'm gonna hit Command F, or you could hit Control F on a PC for most text editors to find some text. I'm gonna look for the modal text. So here we find some items for modal. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit, and here we have the definition for our modal, and you can see that we have margin left set to negative 280 pixels, and that's what centers that modal on the screen when it's at a width of 560 pixels. And if you notice, this right here is exactly half of the width. So we're basically putting the left edge of that modal right in the center of the screen and then nudging it to the left half of the width of the modal and that will center it in the screen. So what we need to do is we need to change this margin left position so that it's half of 940 pixels. Half of 940 is gonna be 470. Also, if we scroll down, we'll find the modal body section, and here we see a max height set to 400 pixels, which is why we're having to scroll up and down to see the entire image. So instead of max height 400, we're just gonna change it to max height inherit. So let's jump back into our CSS file, and let's make this happen. So margin left, our width is 940. We need to cut that in half, and set our margin left equal to negative 480 pixels. And then we're gonna set our max hyphen height to inherit. And that will get rid of that 400 pixels for our maximum height. So let's save that, jump back into our file and refresh. And now when we click on that, we'll see that it's aligned a little bit better. We still need to fix it a little bit and we'll explain that in a second and it looks like our height problem isn't quite fixed yet. So let's figure out what that's all about. For the inherit here, we need to actually put that inside the modal body. So we're gonna skip a couple lines here and create a new rule for modal image space dot modal hyphen body. 
and there we'll set max height equal to inherit. So let's cut that from here and place it inside this rule and then save that, refresh our page, click on that, and there we go. We no longer have to scroll up and down there. The height issue is now taken care of. The only problem is if we look in the background, we can see the left edge of the carousel up here and the right edge is over here to the right. So we've nudged it over a little too far. And the reason for that is we have 940 pixels of width for the image, but we also have 15 pixels of padding on the left and right. So that's an extra 30 pixels of width there. So instead of a width of 940, we actually have 970. So let's adjust that number a little bit to see if we can get this to work. We'll jump back into our code and instead of 480 pixels here, I'm gonna take 15 off of that and we're going to subtract 465. So let's save that, refresh our page, click here. And that was a little too much. So let's go back and bring it up to 470. And we wanna do this until we have that modal centered. And there we go, now it looks a little bit better. It might be a pixel or two off, but you can adjust that as needed. But for the most part, this looks really nice and it works just fine, it goes away just fine. So now we can apply this to the rest of our images. So let's go back into our code, go into Home 5 HTML. I'm gonna grab this modal div here, copy it, and then paste it after each of our images. So here's one image, we'll skip a couple lines paste it here and we're going to change this one to modal graphic for the graphic design section and we'll change our image to graphic design.jpg and this is the end of modal graphic all right we'll come down here to our next image skip a couple lines paste it there again this one is going to be modal photography we'll change our image to photography.jpg and this is the end of modal photography and then for our last section we'll come to the image for our video production section skip a few lines paste it there this one is going to be modal video we'll change our image to video.jpg and this is the end of modal video so now we need to create the links for each of these we'll come back up to our first item which is located up here. And here's our opening link tag. So let's copy that and paste that before our next image here. So we'll paste that. And instead of modal web, this needs to be modal graphic. And then after the image, don't forget your closing anchor tag. We'll go down to the next image, paste that again. This one is the modal photography link. And then after our image, we're going to put our closing anchor tag. And then finally, for our last image, we'll paste again. This one's going to link to modal video. And then again, after the image, we're going to put our closing anchor tag. So save that and then test one last time. Refresh our page. We'll click on the first one. Everything looks great. The second one. The third one. And finally, the video image and everything looks great. So that's how you can customize modals and bootstrap to work as an image light box.